Check my messages real quick. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. In the last episode, we beat up a uh, girl in a church and embarrassed her and made everyone think even worse about her than they already did, which was kind of shitty that they do at all. And this one, uh, we're going to end up finishing the day today and find out that Basil is trying to destroy his scrapbook, which is going to suck for us. But, you know, whatever. It's almost like we have very little ability to think and think things through. We want so badly for everything to return to the way it was that we're willing to ignore all the issues with things. Brown house. Bow check brown house. Oh, hello. Now there's two new faces I'll never forget. You two are the kids who helped find my garden shears. I'm finding, having dinner with my children right now. Would you care to join us? What the heck? Is that Kel and Sunny at the door? Why are you two standing in front of my house? Get out of here, nerds. Kim, what's gotten in you, sweetie pie? Sorry, boys. Perhaps you can join us for dinner another time. I didn't... I think this is the house I meant to go to, but that's interesting. No response. It said just south of here, the house of the brown roof. There's multiple houses with brown roofs. What's up? So the daughter still isn't home, huh? Oh well. I hope she returns home today. Alright, so maybe it's the first house. That's a green roof, isn't it? Uh, maybe it was that one house that didn't respond. Or maybe it's this one. Maybe it was far south. Hey, you're the kids from earlier. My son is upstairs in his room, but he doesn't like strangers much. Some towels and toiletries, books and magazines. Adora! And no, I've not fought Sephiroth yet, Grim. An ashtray. Stop smoking in your bedroom. A bill? Money? An ornate houseplant. Welcome, Adora. Rodora! Hi there! Good to see you both. Fish is here too. <laughs> This is a game called Amori. It is kind of a messed up game. It has a lot of good things about it and a lot of depressing things about it. Um, open phone book of the table. Person seems to be looking for odd jobs. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Um, it is a game where bad things happened a few years back and you're having to deal with the grief of it, but you're trying to process it in your own different way. And also I might be a psychopath. I'm not really 100% sure on that one. So I'm almost done here in reality, I think, in the waking part, and then I'll be going back to dreamland and doing a bunch of silly adventures there. Hopefully having a good dream. Supposedly there's a cat somewhere I need to feed, but I can't seem to find it. Also, I got a pet rock, which is essentially a Tamagotchi. Also mixed with like a, like, Digimon, I guess. 
Are you ready to clash? This person... Okay. Okay. Scissors. Good to know. Ouch. I think this person might always swap between... Yeah, they seem to swap between scissors and papers every time, so... It's literally a game of rock, paper, scissors. And I win. Everyone seems to have a different pattern. Rose Lad, are you okay? There, there, you take a rest now. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for challenging me. I guess I need to train Rose Lad a little more. So, idea is that we started the game up and everything seemed really happy, but you could see little issues here and there, and from the looks of it, we were in some kind of dreamland, and nothing in the dream world's quite the same as it is in reality. Time has passed, and a lot of our views of things were from when we were kids, so things were bigger, things were different, more magical in different ways, and then we're here in reality and everything's a bit rusted over, there's trash everywhere, some people aren't the same people they used to be and are trying to move on, things like that. It's all about growing up and dealing with grief, which is a hard topic, but it's a good game. It's very cute. Chocolate is a girl's best friend, although diamonds are also pretty high up there. Welcome, we hope our candy makes you smile. Yeah, I read this. Welcome to the laptop. So, more chocolate. Try to find somebody who will play rock pets with me, but I'm not really seeing much. phone you can't get up well, I'm not seeing an orange cat anywhere so I'm guessing I can't feed it anymore see them because I do not see any discord messages from you you're lying to me how dare you but more importantly I just I'm supposed to feed this stupid cat it's supposed to be around town somewhere I'm trying to think it's not around town anywhere hey stranger you just in time to help critique my latest work in progress what just pulled me into his house. Critique my art. Bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. It's a good dog. Lucas, quit your yapping. Look at this sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? A little bit. Yeah, thanks. I thought so, too. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has stricketh. And voila. Ah, that looks so much better. Hey, can I poke you for a minute? I feel like this piece is missing something. Maybe the character needs a little more detail? Oh, I know. I can add some detail right here, 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 and here. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Of course, it's so obvious, don't you think? Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has stricketh. And voila. Ah, beautiful. The extra detail really makes a difference. Hey, could I get your opinion for a sec? What do you think about the color here? Should I make the background red or blue? Wait, don't answer. It would definitely look better with a red background, right? 
Sure. I completely agree. Red is indubitably the right choice here. Red will bring the painting to the next level. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has stricketh. And voila. Piece is finally done. Thanks. I couldn't have done this without you. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has stricketh. I'm happy for you. Small bone, stuffed animal, it's seen some better days. Some cheap paints. Looks his dog bed. He seems to have grown it a bit. Work desk. Shoe rack. Alright, time to snoop through the fridge. Milk, tea, and fried fish cake. Dirty dishes. Looks at his food and water bowl. There's slobber over it, I believe it. A big fish bowl. There's at least two goldfish in here. They look healthy. An unfinished painting. This bed is on the floor. You're not sure how to rate this. Washing machine and dryer. Checkerboard. Trading cards are scattered all across the floor. Shiny trading cards on the table. Okay. That is a little on the soft side, but overall, not too bad. You rate it 7 out of 10. Alright, let's get out of here now. Music's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Bad taste of music, it's fine though. I haven't been to the pink house yet. No response. Alright. I think at this point, it is time for us to move on. Just a second. Orange cat looks hungry. There's the orange cat. It was on Basil's house. <coughs> cat left a gift for you. You got trash. Thanks, orange cat. Knock, knock. Basil, it's your friends Kel and Sunny. Hello there, who are you? Hi, Basil. Oh, wait, you're not Basil. I'm sorry, my name is Polly. I'm Basil's caretaker. Oh, hey, Kel. What is it? Hey, Basil, we got your photo album back. Huh? You did? Wow, thank you. He gave Basil back his photo album. Basil, you didn't tell me you had friends coming over. Would you like to join us for dinner? I always seem to cook just a little too much. Dinner? Uh, sure, sounds delicious. Come on, Sunny, free dinner. What are the state of things? Please, make yourself at home. I'll go ahead and finish up the food. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in here. You definitely have a lot more plants than you used to. Uh, yeah, I like them a lot. Actually, there's some that are still alive from when you guys came here more often. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Yep, that's Basil for you. Flowers and photos. Oh, that reminds me. Now that we got your photo on back, we can go through all the photos together. Uh, that's, uh... I don't know. It's been well since you've looked through them, hasn't it? Come on, it'll be fun. Um... Sure. Okay. Here it is. Alright. My first photo. 
It's been, it's my best friend Sonny trying out his new violin. So it was a violin that we were gifted by our family. He's starting to take lessons again so he can play it at recitals with his sister Mary. So exciting. Ouch. <laughs> Just Kel being Kel, so many party hats. Sonny playing a video game on the couch. Sonny is a little shy, but he's a really good listener. I always end up venting him when I get upset or stressed. Sometimes I feel like I'm bothering him, but he never seems to mind. So that was on 218. So this is all birthday. And this was Christmas. We're back from the park, but Kel's still full of energy. He challenged Hero to an arm wrestling match, but we all know who's gonna win. Please go easy on him, Hero. Ugh, oh, sorry, Kel. Better luck next time. Kel was still feeling a little sour about losing to Hero in arm wrestling last night, so Hero decided to lean in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. I remember this photo. Ah, brotherly love. I also remember seeing this. Me and showing Sunny a book I've been reading. Mary stole my camera and took this while I wasn't paying attention. I should really keep better track of my things. Right around this time, he started taking photos almost every day. It's all of us cuddling with Sunny's stuffed animals. He has so many and they're all so soft. I wish I could just lay here forever. Mary's teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Here's Sunny and Kel holding Mary's example. It looks perfect, doesn't it? If only Mary thought so too. Hero's still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting there. You have to admire his persistence. It's raining super hard today. The rain always seems to come out of nowhere during springtime. Aubrey asked me to take a uh, picture of her with her new raincoat. It's her new, it's her favorite color, pink. Aubrey won't let Kel under the umbrella, but Kel seems to be taking it just fine. He says he likes how the rain tastes. <laughs> just Kel being Kel again. He went to Hobbies, but the shop owner told Kel to leave his jack outside since Kel was getting all of his comics wet. Sorry, shopkeep. It's been pretty busy with school lately, but we finally made time to get together and go to the park today. Here's Kel hanging out by his legs off a tree. He's such a good climber. I wish I was, I was as fearless as him. It's, my, it's the first day of summer vacation, so we all wanted to celebrate by going to the beach. Watermelon is Aubrey's favorite. Kel will cooling off with some refreshing orange gel. I shouldn't get too close or he might get my camera wet. Kel is known to spill his drinks. <laughs> we buried Sunny in the sand. It took forever, but he looks like he's enjoying himself. I wonder if he's going to need help getting out. I guess I'll just keep him company until then. Yay, Sunny is turning 12 today. Even though me, Sunny, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Sunny is still younger than all of us. He's the baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Sunny holding a super huge present from Mary and Hero. Um, I wonder what it is. <laughs> you can't really tell from the photo, but Mary and Hero got Sunny a giant building block set. Sunny seems much more interested in the box, though. He is just a cat. He acts just like Mary's new kitten, Mawu. Mawo. Sunny won't leave the box, so Kel put a food bowl inside. I guess this box will be Sunny and Mawo's new home. We're, getting, we're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Sunny is there too. He looks kind of sleepy. I went to the bathroom and came back to this photo. Kel says he took a photo of himself by accident, but I don't believe him. <laughs> Unfortunate for you, Krim. It's the first day of school today. Me, Sunny, Kel, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey's so photogenic. <sighs> Goodbye, Summer. Until next year. There are missing photos. There's missing photos all over. Are you done looking? Nah.
Oh man, it looks like a lot of the photos are still missing. Maybe Aubrey kept them for herself. We'll have to get those back later. On the bright side, look how short I was. <laughs> I know I've grown at least a foot since Hero left for college. I can't wait until he comes back. This year I'll finally be taller, be the teller, brother. <laughs> Anyway, don't sweat about the missing photos, Basil. Me and Sunny will take care of things for you. You just focus on going back to your happy, carefree self. Okay. Thank you. I'll try. Sorry about the wait. Dinner's taking longer than I thought. Would any of you boys like to help? Yeah, sure, I'll help. I got some experience helping my brother cook and stuff. Oh, that would be lovely. Please follow me. The kitchen is this way. I wonder how we could tell. It's almost like this is an open concept. Oh, hi, Sunny. It's nice to finally see you again. <laughs> Why are you staring at me like that? Um, Sunny? Is everything okay? Bunch of books. Most of them about gardening and indoor plant care. Flowers. Where are you going? Come on, Sunny. Free dinner. Some potted plants. on plants, flowers, a bathtub with some strange equipment attached to it. I wonder what Basil's storage really is. Bonsai tree, some photos of Basil and his parents. You've never met them before. A vase, there's a lot of dust in it. Some potted plants. A bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening and indoor plant care. I mean... Yeah, it does. That's not the first time I've seen a similar reflection of that. A white aigrette orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. That's beautiful, actually. Oh, Sunny, I didn't expect to see you in here. <laughs> How are you doing, Sunny? Is everything okay with you? The answer's no, but... Okay, never mind then. Grandma can't hear us, you know. She hasn't been feeling very well lately. It's already been four years, hasn't it? It's nice to see that you're still around, even if it's only for a little while. Here, take my photo album. I want you to have it. I'm trusting you with it, okay? I just think you can probably use it more than me. Basil gave you his photo album. A lot has happened since these pictures were taken. Sometimes it feels like it was all a bad dream. It's hard to remember now, but I think at the time... I took photos of what I was most sad, most afraid to lose. Flipping through this album, you can still see the good times. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. Sunny! Basil! Dinner's ready! Okay, coming!
Basil's grandma is breathing steadily. A wheelchair. A bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening and indoor plant care. A potted plant. What a beautiful flower. Potted plant. A watering pail. Flowers. A bunch of books. Most of them are about gardening and indoor plant care. Basil's camera. It looks really dusty. A comfortable looking bed. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Munch, 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 munch. What took you so long? Oh, yeah, I really worked hard on this. Hurry up and take a seat, Sonny. Come on, Sonny, let's have dinner. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker since they travel to the country frequently. Sorry, I'm too busy staring at soup. It's good soup. Oh, I need it. Habit. Let's check. What does Basil keep in their fridge? Cabbages, carrots, mushrooms, and tofu. Pauline Kale's homemade dinner. Would you like to eat some? Everything tastes so good. You're the best, Polly. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just following Grandma's recipes. Thanks for your help, Kel. So as I was saying before, Polly, tomorrow, my oldest brother, Hero, is finally coming back from college. My mom's so crazy right now preparing the house and everything. Don't want to go anywhere near that mesh. Although, I'm pretty excited to see him. Every time he comes back, the first thing we do is compare heights. This year is the year that I'm finally going to be taller than him. I can I feel in my bones. <laughs> you and your brother seem close. That's good. Family's important. Oh, hey. What you doing with Basil's photo album there, Sonny? Oh, I gave it to him. I just thought he should have it. Whoa, really? That's so cool of you. Makes sense. Especially since Sonny's moving away and all. What? Sonny's moving? Oh yeah, I thought I already mentioned it. I must have forgot. He's moving in three days, I think. Sorry, I thought you already knew. Oh. Uh, no, I guess I must have missed it. Sorry. Um, may I be excused? I have to go to the bathroom. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Basil's been going to the bathroom a lot lately. I hope it's not my food. What's up with him? Well, that's just how it is. That's weird. I was not even facing you, but it's fine. Hey, Basil. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, it's you. Sunny. You're here. I'm so glad. You can see it too, can't you? Something behind you? Sunny, why? Why do you look so scared? Sunny, everything's okay now, isn't it? Sonny, why? Why do you look so scared? I don't... I don't know how to fix this.
I don't... I don't have a fix for this. Wait. Please, Sunny, don't leave me. Not again. refuses. Alright, let's just start banging on the wall and freak him out. Or even better yet. Hey, Grandma! Oh, hey, Sonny. I think it's about time we went home. It's way past my curfew. So yeah. Anyway, Paul, if you ever need me, here's my address. Oh, just down the block. Thanks, Kel, you're sweet. <laughs> it's, oh, it's nothing. Say goodbye to Basil for me. You're probably wondering who I am, right? I'm nobody, really, just a nurse who's taking care of Basil's grandmother. A few months ago, Basil's parents hired me as Basil's caretaker, since they travel out the country frequently. I try to do as much as I can for Basil while I'm here, but ever since I've started staying here, I can't shake the feeling that Basil is trying to avoid me. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong. Basil! Oh, Basil! Ah, oh, poor guy. He's always had a weak stomach. Hope he feels better soon. Alright. I guess let's head out of here. Yeah. Sunny refuses to return currently. I guess what I can technically do. You shouldn't disturb others this late at night. I can explore town at night, I guess. See if there's anything else. I have my doubts, but... I already fed the cat twice. Bunch of traffic signs and traffic cones are littered in the front yard. Door is locked. Makes sense. I'll see if I can feed it a third time, but. Wow. <clears throat> Teddy bear. A jungle gym. Smells like rusty metal. There are, in fact, night kitties. How dare you lie to me. Meow. Meow. The cats are everywhere. Welcome to Cat Town. A fruit cart. It's mostly full of apples. Recognize the cat. Speak to the cat. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, tonight is such a beautiful night, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least Moonlight is free. Meow. The stench of this man is indescribable. Hey, Bob, could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Sure, take a dollar. Thank you kindly. Probably take a fucking shower. Take care of yourself. Don't make yourself smell gross. And then again, there should be some kind of infrastructure that a lot... Oh, wait, coins. Well, uh, there should be some kind of infrastructure that allows you to... Uh... 
you know, get showers and things. What you looking at, mister? I'm playing a game with my best friend. Hey, Sonny. I'm afraid that you've been clashing with pet rocks all around town. If you want a real challenge, I know some folks in the faraway plaza are, are veterans at pet rocks. Four of them, to be precise. They don't overshow to newbies. For you, I'm sure they'll make an exception. You should try to talk to some shop staff and frequent customers in the area. They'll be sure to test your strength to the limit. Alright, neat. Business hours 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. Must be 21 years or older to enter after 10 p.m. So it's after 10, I guess. Closed. Business hours 8 to 10 every day. Closed. 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, makes sense. Parked car. Meow. The Elite Four of Pet Rocks. So we'll have to do that tomorrow. I mean, to be fair, supposedly there's a champion somewhere. I'm assuming it's the shopkeep, as he's the one who peddled them to everyone. Who knows? Could be someone else. Could not actually turn out to be Aubrey or something. Surprise, motherfucker. Wait, hold up, Sonny. I know it's been a while since you've been over my place. Yeah, same old, same old. A for sale sign. Yeah. Two days, you'll be moving somewhere else. Hey, Sonny. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Sorry for all the trouble. That was a pretty crazy adventure, huh? I can tell you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but that's okay. It just takes practice. Anyway, Hero's coming back for college from college tomorrow, so I'm sure he'll want to see you before you leave. So if you don't mind, I'll be coming back for you again in the morning. Good night, Sonny. Sweet dreams. I know it's creepy, but squishy, 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 squish, squish, squish. Whispers emanate from inside the box. hate this. I'm not picking up the knife. This is what I get for always trying to interact with every fridge. Whispers emanate from inside the box. This is horrible. A giant spiderweb blocks the doorway. Okay. I need the knife. Where did I even get a knife from? It was taken away. All right, and now I walk over here and I put the knife back and no, it doesn't let me, of course not. Why do I have so many freaking steak knives? Like actual like full like butcher knife kind of thing. I hate every part of this. Oh. I can't go back? I 
Ow. I'm not hurt. You know what? No. Just can't do outside of battle. Ow. Let me calm down. Come on, Sonny, you're okay. I know the fear is there. The trauma. Hey, Mary. Arachnophobia warning, I guess. Let's call this. Let's calm down. Let's fight. This is getting nowhere fast, huh, Sonny? I mean, unless you can just one-shot me, yeah. It seems like there's a lot going on. You need to block out the little things, and figure out what's important. You clear your mind to remember how to focus. Come on, just a second, I'm fixing my mic. Sunny will focus. Just a little spider, and it's gone. Alright. Guys, next time on Let's Play Amori, we are going to finish the day, I guess. I know we I said it last time, but we're at the end of the day anyway. So next time, we'll do this. I know, Krim, I know. See you all then.